Alright, so last time we were here, this area caught on fire, and I was able to start building because uh, the trees all burned down, and so chopping the t burned trees is not an issue. It's just when you chop a live tree that's either growing or still growing, or grown or still growing. Um, we lost our dog, unfortunately, and... Uh, that's kind of it. There's no animal on the map right now that has uh, the capacity, the capacity to, to haul. Trainability would be the spec. It's a pack. It's a pack animal, which I understand. None. So, so some animals can be trained, and some animals can't. And I think for the most part, the only animals that can be trained are like the dogs and stuff. So we'll see what happens. A lot more animals get added from the mods that I've added. So most of the vanilla expanded work um, is in here. And a lot of the, some of the bigger mods such as Rim Atomics and Rim Feller, uh, atomic capacity and oil are also in here too, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. And uh, NG is our commissar of violence. So, Prince looks really mean with these new faces on. <laughs> okay, what else did I add? So, I think I have Ultra. Oh, okay. Um... I added these guys, these temperature control units. That has water, that is a cooler and a heater at the same time. Um, we needed more steel. That's right, I needed more steel. Because I don't have enough steel for for putting these guys in, although they need them. Um, so you can strike the standing lamp there, and we'll just build another one of these guys, I think, here. His face looks so weird. I might have to, might have to, re I might have to I download a different face pack. I thought this would be a cool face pack, but it's not. Uh, it looks really weird. <laughs> Those. Oh, yes, we did have a source of steel up here, which is these uh, concretes. So let's take a look. Uh, floors. Let's, uh, no, remove. Let's remove all these floors. That'll give us maybe like 20 more steel, but that's not enough for us to try to do anything else with. Oh. I have to change one aspect of these mods. And that would be vanilla events expanded. I don't want the the ridiculously extreme ones. Like these guys. Um, Psychic Rain, I guess, is okay. Long Night, definitely don't want that. Um, global warming. I'm trying to figure out what <laughs> this question mark is. Um, don't mind alpha beavers. Volcanic winter, toxic fallout are okay. There's oh, uh, there's one extra one that is like really freaking awful, and I just want to make sure that it's not ever gonna happen. Psychic rain, actually, yes. Yeah. Psychic bloom was the one that I didn't care for. 
I actually will disable that one too. Let's just disable those as well. They don't seem like they're a um a good idea. Drought's okay. The rest of those are okay. All right, now we can go back and play. Um, so I've disabled I've disabled those bigger uh, and more worse events. And now I have to think about where, how I want to kind of build out the space some more. It looks like we've got some space right here to kind of work with. Um, let's kind of give it a, a shot. All right, we've got some area over here, but I think what I'm going to make is this like a double or triple walled, and this is just like an extension. Right, so maybe the base just kind of hovers around here. But I think I eventually want to get more towards the center of the map because the center of the map has a lot of defense. So try my best to get over here if I can, uh, but that might not be possible without cutting a lot of trees, which they'll be pissed at. So I, I really don't want to try to do that. I'd rather do something different. Let's ask them to make more blocks. So uh, the other mods um, I added are these, uh, I guess this embrasure type of mod. Uh, it's not an actual embrasure mod per se, it's just got a... It just has a... Um, an embrasure component to it that is updated particularly for 1.3. The other embrasure mod that I have uh, is not updated for 1.3 and it wasn't technically updated for 1.2 either so I'm pretty sure it's dead at this point. But this should work. Alrighty, with the Najorn hunts. No, thank you. In the box of violence, a relic hunt. Let's see how we're doing over here. So, I think I wanted to try to get uh, this area built up for us. So that way, we can move our guys out. Go ahead and put some grant some granite embrasures. Right here and right there. That gives us a little bit of uh, protection. rather have line of sight out this way than out that way. So we'll do that and then we have the ability to also replace things. So I can just do this and I don't have to deconstruct the wall first, making me a very happy person. Uh, and it's just I, I don't understand why that's not in the game either. Like that should just be in there. That, that makes so much more sense. Who needs warm clothes? NG, why don't you why aren't you wearing your the parka? Uh let's see here. Recreation. We can do shooting targets now. Uh let's see here. I don't really wanna accidentally kill an animal though. also noticed that if you put them next to walls, they'll hit the walls on accident too, and so that becomes a problem. We'll just do one. That should be enough. So 
totally making progress on that one. So let's see here. I've got my psychoid plant also going. That way we can start making some harder drugs for making moolah. And uh, this entire map is basically like, there's not a lot of build area. I, I, I chose a very poor space to have people who don't like to mine things or um, cut down trees, which is kind of a, kind of a bummer. We do have these goats. That'll be the, that's nice. <laughs> so, so both shout, sh both Shoda and Inji are trying to like seduce each other, but they keep failing for different reasons. <laughs> it's like one of them was like sad, and then it's like, oh, I'm sorry, actually, I really do want to be with you, and then the other dude's like, No, screw you. Let's chop down all these burned trees. think about let me think about this for a quick second what do I ultimately want to have I could wall off this entire section right here there's a nice wall and I can start building into these areas I guess it really just depends on on how I kind of feel do I not have stack XL installed Yeah, I do. Just no one's uh over here prioritizing merging it. I had I, I always kind of play with this with the XL mod or the stack XL mod just because it's just a lifesaver, especially when it comes to building space and, and the like. In this particular environment, it's going to be even more important because we don't have a lot of space to build. We we have we can't well as long as there's trees aren't trees there we have space to build, but it's like a very I don't know this colony is going to be very interesting. Um, trying to avoid cutting trees and slaughtering animals. I need more steel. Oh, we got, um, we're getting a lot more steel out of that than I anticipated. <laughs> Where can I... F I mean, other than mining things... I've kind of claimed all the steel. So we're going to see how much steel we need, we have. And then we're going to try and utilize <laughs> utilize what we have from all of that. So that is 67 steel right there with 12 here. That's it. So we got 12 plus 67 is 79. Goddamn. We're going to have Muffalo Wool for days. What else needs to happen? I guess we need to get more of these Q 
queued up and ready to go. Okay. So we have all these extra things. These are new. Well, most of them are new. I liked the factory. When I started playing on my last 1.2 map, I started building factory stuff, and it was awesome, but unfortunately I just couldn't get it all done in time before 1.3 came out. I guess I could revert my saves back and continue playing. Nothing useful for us. There are some nice zones over here, though. So, is fishing a problem for them? It doesn't seem like it. We might be able to do some fishing. Hmm. Okay. Um. That's nice. Actually, I should probably I should probably disable something. I think it's here. Does it have any sort of No. That's fine. Pitman Yes, go straight to that. We're going to need to get a good shirt for you. Make button down? Yeah. Let's make a button down shirt. Welcome to the colony. Uh, I haven't had that event happen in a long time. Usually that's disabled for me. Or at least I try my best to have it disabled. She just enter and then like dumped her clothes? Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Let's see here. I'm going to want you to have that. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> I like the mod. I just kind of wish it wasn't as, um, I guess, revealing. <laughs> yeah, just sleep on the ground for right now, because I don't really have anything else for you to do. Actually, you can get this revolver. You had a knife, apparently. Uh, you can keep the knife, though. Because I have sidearms. Let's make a spot for her. Just so that way she can sleep in a designated spot. Alright. Let's think about uh, getting these extra bedrooms going. Heck yeah. Mm, Price is the only one who's going to be able to cook. Let's let Pitman handle. Is she good at anything? She's good at crafting, actually. So that means Price doesn't have to craft. 
Shooter can do these and then handle. I think that'll work. I have a lot of crafters already. We'll, we'll let him do crafting. Um, actually, yeah, he's got a good construction skill. We'll do that. And actually, Pittman has a decent research. Uh, she's got a passion in research. Our only person who's passionate in research, so she might actually be the one that we need to do research with instead. That seems about right. And therefore, Shoda can do other things, such as growing and plant cutting. Uh, let's allow sewing. And allow more sewing. Allow sewing. Let's see if they can do anything with that. Cannot grow. What other work can we get him to do? See what else. All right. Um, how do I want to approach this? So we want to build. I really don't want to use steel. Let's go granite. Um, that's wood, so we can build a copy out of that. Where's the build copy? There's no build copy. Um, okay. Something doesn't seem right there. Are you kidding me? Oh, do I really have to research that now? <laughs> That's why. Oh, because we don't start out with it. Well, we should start out with it, but we didn't go through the beginning process. F. Um, we need to do this. Thing. A hunting work site nearby called controlled by Treaty of Goba. Oh, okay. Interesting. That was a thing. Floors. Let's do granite tile. Since we're going to want the, the premium bonus, we can even retrieve the steel from the, zone, from the ground here. Actually, now that I think about it, I, mean, I don't have my... Pl the, the planning mod doesn't exist right now. Um, so I've got these three. Can I do these three here? And then... I could leave that one have like a little hallway and like do these three here. Um, the other option could be start here. I do these guys. Right, and that would actually give me three bedrooms right there. And then a fourth one could go here. And then, like, uh, no, actually, I would need to have hallway, wouldn't I? 
So I guess my hallway could be here, going up the side. Right, so this is my this is where my hallway would go. So actually this needs to come down even one more. Because right, then I'd have a hallway here. There's a door. There's a door. There's a door. And then there can be a door here. And that should be good. Let's go ahead and try and construct uh, this guy. And let's build another granite here and do that there. Whew. Space constrained building. So that's underway. I need more steel. Come on, someone drop me some steel. Randy, I know you're up there. I know you can hear me. Drop me some steel. song right here. So last time I just uploaded the entire VOD uh, to YouTube and like that took four hours. I think what I'm going to try to do is figure out a way to do some video editing Without going through Adobe because like Adobe is so freaking expensive and I don't really want to pay that much money. I just need clips. I need jump edits essentially. And there might be a way to do that just through YouTube. I think YouTube has a small video editor. Not a mad gazelle. But we love animals. You seri serious? Are you freaking serious? All right, now get your booty over here. <laughs> or maybe come over here. We need some shooting practice. Oh shit! <laughs> um, uh, Price Pittman, I need your help. NG run. <laughs> oh god, that gazelle just absolutely hauled butt into this area. Keep running, keep running. Help is on the way. All right, fire. Completely miss. Holy crap. That gazelle was faster than I anticipated. I need that's why you have an embrasures. Embrasures are very OP. Um Oh my gosh, look at his eyes. What the heck? His eyes are completely bloody. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, uh, aren't you supposed to be doctoring people? Can we, like, also not use our medicine? Actually, speaking of... Look at 
these dandelions, how they just like flow. That owner to price. Oh, they now have bandages over his eyes. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's the Great Migration. These are currently frozen, so it's not a huge deal. Let's reconstruct or reinstall you. There. Deconstruct, deconstruct. What the heck is your nose? Dude, look at that guy's nose. That's I don't like this pack. This was an interesting pack, but I, I'm gonna change the faces the next time. I just don't like it. <laughs> oh, they just look ugly. Oh, really? Uh, interesting. You can go and raid the camp and then just come back. And that's a different that's an interesting kind of quest. I like that. I'm not ready to do the quest. Alright, so I need to have more of these buildings. I guess, should I go ahead and just move it over there? I think I should. Just mean I put this here, and then we've got our, our area right here. That way it prevents me from having to do a lot of more deconstruction. Back to floors, let's start putting down some more granite tile. I want more granite doors because I don't want to use the steel. So in like six days, it's going to be ready to go, right? Not sure. We'll see. Why do we need a meditation spot? Damn. It's because he's a wimp. A little bit of food poisoning, and you're just like a, you're just you're just garbage. Lovely sounds. That's actually we don't even have to remove Inji's room. It's just we get an extra bedroom. That's nice. I don't need these walls then. We'll just, we'll just move those. <sighs> no more bandages on the NG. We really need to get you more clothes. Uh, you need to be wearing this. Why aren't you? Why don't people wear their things? A 
Wow all. It used to be that they just rushed right for clothing, but they, they just don't anymore. So you have to force them to do it. Back to laying down more of this granite tile. Do not care about using all the granite on the map. I'm not taking it for granted. Actually, do we even have enough? Is there any more? Is there even any more granite left? Oh boy, there isn't a lot left. Um, I guess we could do marble, right? We got plenty of marble. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just take care of that. Let's add marble blocks instead. Marble's gonna be better from a wealth perspective. Instead of granite, we'll make it out of marble. Reclaim these marbles back. We'll just save the granites for, for structures. There we go. It just looks like an evil like evil villain. Look at his face. I just I just don't like it. That's awful. Shouter. Let's build more. Oh, you piece of crap. Ah. All I got is NG right now. Shoot out. God dang it. Yeah. All right, we did it. A friggin' piece of garbage. <sighs> Those wanderer joins never never turn out good, do they? It's a good thing we only lost, like, Muffalo wool gear. Well, Price doesn't need a melee weapon. Even though he's got a com he's got, a, like, a, a passion in melee, he can't really if he sits there and he, and he gets hurt, he can't really get he can't really get done. Do you ha you have medical? Can you work on being a doctor? You're supposed to like wait. Oh, she's already bandaged. Okay. Uranium? Okay. 
stop stop hauling as much. <laughs> Start doing the things that we need to get done. Um, yeah, forget about that one. And let you equip. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's light this place up a little bit. ridiculous too. I hate that they put noses on them. That's just awful. higher level. We got a lot of pregnant muffalos. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This farm is starting to get a uh, bit out of hand. Thankfully we don't have to kill any, any of them, we just have to release them into the wild. Ultra speed, yeah, let's go. Ultra speed. He's just shuffling papers. Just throwing them down. Yeah, let's go. We can now research freaking doors. Oh, that's fine. Not doors, we can research freaking deads now. Because apparently we didn't have that ability. Poisoning chance seems to have also increased because we are getting a lot more food poisoning than I had than I was anticipating. Throwing paper. Look at that. Just throwing them down. It's like now she's spin jitsu. Hello. How are you? Good weekend, I guess. <laughs> Go to one. Where? I just need someone to give me steel. Um. More food poisoning? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, 
so far, 1.3 and the ideology um, mod, not mod, DLC, uh, is interesting. I like what they've done with 1.3. Um, ideology changes, like, a lot of things. Um, uh, and one, once I figure out what I want to do, I can explain more. But, hold on. I just don't understand why I'm getting so many freaking... Um, food poisonings. <laughs> Eating it right on top of it. Uh, so ideology, what that does is that it, uh, it, it gives your colonists like some sort of weird belief system. Um, so for example, if I click on a colonist, there's now this idea where you have like a belief. And, um, you know, there's a lot of positives, negatives, trade-offs with these this sort of thing. Obviously, it's a DLC, so you can just, like, take it off so you don't actually have to have that content in the game. But it, it does add an extra dynamic to, like, the overall, I guess, management of colony and relationships with other colonies. Um, for example, every faction has its own belief system. And they're all listed over here on this side. Most of the times, they're just randomly generated. But, for example, my colony, which is the Super Earthists, we believe that we are supremacists. Uh, we are supreme over everybody else. Uh, we kind of are collective, so we build for the colony. And uh, we care a lot about nature, so we don't like to mine, we don't like to cut down trees, we can't slaughter animals or kill innocent ones, etc., etc. And it's not like you can't do some of those things. Like, for example, if I hover over this thing called the Precept, it's like, yeah, you get... You can slaughter the animal, but the person who does is going to have a very bad mood lit, like minus four mood, and everybody's going to hate him because he slaughtered an animal. It's a minus 80. So he basically gets ostracized from everything else. So you can see that based off of your what the game calls ideology, you can have a very interesting social dynamic for the colony. Um, some of them have, you know, different structures and beliefs obviously this is so this is a mod um and this was rolled relatively recently but one of the original ones yeah well the psychic abilities are also still kind of crazy too uh but it, 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 it's interesting because they actually threw in real religions into this too like so this is a christian based like belief system and like over here is a hindu based uh, and, and so it's like you can keep going through all these sorts of things and um, Buddhist and regular old theists. There's definitely a Muslim, Islamic kind of thing. So, really, they just threw in a bunch of different, or a bunch of different things um, that have some interesting bonuses too. You know, for example, um, wearing a button-down shirt is in accordance with the belief system, and therefore you get a plus one bonus to your mood. Um, if you cut down a tree, for example, uh, he, you know, you'll get a minus ten mood debuff. And just it's kind of it, it kind of changes the way that you play the game, right? So psychic abilities also are kind of interesting because you know you have to go with the empire. You have to help the empire, and by helping them, they'll give you like reward. They'll give you favor, and you can spend that favor. Or no, you basically will get the psychic sort of power based off of whatever thing that they believe they'll give you. Um, and they changed it in 1.3. So in 1.2, um, you had to have, you just had to right click on the, like, the, the giver and they'll just give it to you. Now it's a whole event and it can be very good or it can be very bad and that can ruin relationships with the Empire. It's like, you don't really want that. They're pretty powerful. They'll just come down and kill you. So, like, I, I like the flavor of it I'm still kind of getting used to it I've got like now 700 hours into this game um, which is by no stretch of the imagination the most you can put into here but I I enjoy it I like the more random style of story um, and mad alpacas apparently <laughs> so you know I I like to play random give myself a challenge and just go with the flow.
But yeah, I just I just found it interesting that I threw these ideologians in here that are just like can't cut trees, can't mine, and guess where I'm at? Uh, I've got a place with trees. <laughs> got a place with trees and then mining. Yeah, I remember when I was 250 hours. I thought I was um, I thought I was I thought I was crazy back then. Um, I think I still am kind of crazy. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I that that's my that's my uh, that's my opinion. I think it's still a good game. It's always been a good game. It's different for everyone. That's fine. We'll do that. Get out of here. No, 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 and he's down, and so it's just shoot a shout a, can you, can you help me out here, buddy? Oh, we can just burn him, there you go, alright, he'll slow down, okay, that's good, so that, that I just used the psychic power on, to help me get past it. Oh, so the animals now flee when you start firing. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. Finish this off. I desperately need a better cook. Jesus Christ. More bloody food poisoning. Self-tend. Tend to yourself. So, no. As far as I understand, it's not. Because the animal was angry. So let's go... I, we can go back to the flavor text here. Um, so the flavor text says, uh, Slaughtering animals is absolutely prohibited. And killing innocent animals is abhorrent. So to kill an innocent animal is a horribly uh, inhuman act. Innocent animals are those who are not attacking or who were only driven to attack by human provocation. So because the... M oh no. <laughs> I have to close the pen. Uh, because it was provoked by an event rather than some other human... Um, the animal is no, it's not a debuff um, mentally or socially. So neither of these two care that we killed that animal. However, if I were to just go and try to kill a regular animal, it wouldn't, it would have that debuff. And I guess if, if for some reason an enemy came on the map and they angered an animal because they were human, and I guess we couldn't kill that animal because it was provoked by another animal, by another human. I don't know how I don't know how deep that goes yet. This is like my third day playing the new update and the new, um, the new. Gosh, brain just does not work. DLC. You're just useless. I, I despise you. You're just giving him no. <laughs> I guess it works. <sighs> can I get a temperature unit down? I can. Ooh. Oh yes. So I can start building a freezer. He's the only one that's good at cooking, though. And he's the only one, but he's also just giving me friggin' poisoned meals the entire time. Yeah. It's Randy. 
Um, moderate difficulty? Nothing special. Yeah. It's the second easiest difficulty. So. Which, even for second easiest difficulty, the amount of food poisoning I got from that was immense. Should probably equip that, thank you. Freezer temperatures. Mm -hmm. So another thing about the about this particular colony is because I can't cut down trees, um, building space is so limited. Like the only thing I can do is build pretty much on the side of these mountains. I can't, I, you know, in a normal playthrough, I would just be like, okay, cut down these trees, grab all the wood, but you can't do that in this game, in this particular case, because they don't really like that. There, there is a limit, right? You don't get like minus a hundred social based off of your ability to cut, chop, cut, chop down a tree, but I really don't want that to happen because that starts social fights and they'll kind of beat each other up and that's not something you want in a colony. They need to be more functional. I'm trying to think what else do I want to do? Yeah. What is this? Oh You've learned of an ancient complex nearby. It is said to contain information about Box of Violence. Just love that title. If you if you can break into the structure and hack the computers inside, you can collect the information. Watch out, there may be all manner of dangers inside, and other enemies may also be attracted to the activity of the structure. So this is so this is interesting as well. Um, so if you go if I go back into the ideology tab, I didn't scroll all the way down, but you've got all these other beliefs and such. Uh, you got some roles, and by having these roles, you have a you can have like a, a structure, a colony, uh, rituals and stuff like that. I guess you can have a brawl or something, um, other special buildings. But then there are these things called relics, and so relics are these ancient things that you can go out into the world and that was a message about this particular relic, the Box of Violence, <laughs> which I honestly am kind of interested in trying to figure that out. The question is, where is it? Is Oh, it's right there. Really? Well, that's easy. I could probably do that right now if I wanted to. Um, what else do I, what do I want now? Oh yeah, no, I want to get to guns. I need to be making better weapons. Even though I need the steel to make the weapons, which I can't mine because I don't have mining. Or they hate mining. Well, actually, they just don't like it as much. Here, let's. So let me let me just show you what happens if we start to mine. So I get a notification that says, "Hey, Dingus, Earthist will be upset if mining occurs." And so currently, Shoda is the only one that's set up to mine. So as we go, um, as we go and do this, he'll 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 get a negative debuff and an opinion buff. For me, sending a caravan usually is when I have a more established base, and I have people who can defend the base behind my back um, as I'm out and about. Unfortunately, because of the other thing, so I can't have any turrets. 
this this is this is a very big problem. I can't build any turrets to defend my base while I'm gone, or when I have like some pacifist that's just sitting around doing nothing. Um, so I really need more people. I really would like to have about four to five people before I would start sending out a caravan. Um, especially one where I might need some aggression. So I'd like to have, for caravans where I need to go and attack something, and there's like a one-star kind of rating to it. It really just depends on on the, on the quest. So for example, it just says there may be all, all manner of dangers inside, but it's a one-star. So it's usually just a trivial kind of thing, usually like one or two people. Um, it also just depends on how many people you have in your base at the time. But I would say that if I were to go after this quest, I'd like to have at least five people in my base. Um, and at least three of them capable of violence. Um, but if I go back now down to Shota, because he mined, he mined a block now. It has a uh, negative buff of mind. So he got a, not, he got a, he got a mood buff of minus three because he had to mine a hole. And that expires in two days. And then from a social standpoint, if we go to, say, you know, one of the other colonists and we look at him, well, so now he's got a minus 10 um, based off of the ideology, an opinion from someone else. So looking at him. So it's, it's, it's really not a good look for Mr. Shoda to have the ability to mine, even though we really do, I really do need the steel. Like, I can't, I can't do this game without steel. Steel is something we desperately need. So I just have to be very careful. I guess I just can't, like, willy-nilly send out mining commands. Even though I so want to. The other, the other thing is, is that this was a meteorite impact right here. So a whole bunch of compacted machinery landed right in the middle of the map which, in any other map, that would have been a godsend, because that's a lot of components that you didn't have to go and, like, mess research and mess around with or build or something. But because it's something that I have to mine, I, I can't mine it. <laughs> it seems, seems like a... Yeah, no, I can't really expand the mountain base. I, I, I really have to, like, build around the mountain, not necessarily in the mountain. So everything, like, anything down here, I can't... There's just no hope. All of that, all that's gone. Um, you know, can't really build anything unless if it's like you know burned down or something like that. So there was a there was a lightning storm actually on the last time I was playing, and like I was so excited because it started burning the trees, and I was like, burn the trees. I've never been like like an arsonist in my life, but I, it felt great to watch all the trees burn. And then I could like reclaim a small space for um, for building because then I didn't have to get a mood debuff in order to clear out those trees. So, I mean, that's just it, it's a bit ridiculous um, <laughs> to be people who don't like to mine or cut down trees in a temperate area in a mountain. That just was a stupid idea, but I, I find it interesting because it kind of expands your creativity. I'm pretty sure, though, I'm not going to last very long in this particular map. I just don't see it happening. RimWorld is too much of a... of a game. Uh, an, an evil game. <laughs> to, 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 to not have autonomous turrets. Um, and not be able to mine and build bases. Are we done with the... Oh, we are. Okay. Let's just do more. <laughs> well, I'm one of those guys, I'm one of those RimWorld players that sometimes just likes to have the colony in go on forever. Like, I never really have a goal when I start the game. Um, sometimes I'm like, okay, let's build the ship this time. But at some point I get so attached to the characters and the map, where I'm just like, I don't want to leave. And I just want the, the, it just to get bigger and bigger and more strategically complex. That's just, it's like, this is like a weird game of chess for me. Um, and that's what I find enjoyable about it. Oh, and so here, here's, here's another thing, right? So I've got these trees that are in these growing zones. 
but if you just expand this zone into this area, what they'll do is they'll start chopping down that tree, which you can't chop down trees. So I have to shrink the zone to have a three by three area that surrounds the tree in order for them to not chop down the tree, which kind of bifurcates all of the, all the growing zones. I had more advanced growing zones, but since this was an area that had like, um, it's got rich soil. Yeah, I know, wow, it's got some rich soil. <laughs> I wanted to use that rich soil, but it's mostly covered in trees, <laughs> so I can't can't use it all. And there's more rich soil up here, but again, there's a lot of trees, and so on and so forth. Um, do I have shelves? Can I put down shelves? Let's make it out of wood. I want the um, the animals to be able to eat the hay grass. I would have liked to have put a barn here too, but because again these trees. Okay, guys, where is? I guess we just don't have granite. It's all the way up there. Storage. Uh, hey. Yeah. Let's go and see if we can get some of these hauled. That'd be fun. Hollable animals. Okay. Let's see how much everyone hates him after this one. So, mind is a minus three. Okay, he still has a minus three deep buff. So, it seems as if multiple mining doesn't hurt him, moodlet wise but in terms of, yeah, no, actually, no, it's just a minus 10, okay, and so you can see there's still a cut tree debuff, because I cut a tree at one point, um, I think Price also has that too. Nope, it's just Shota. So it looks like socially the mining debuff isn't as bad. So I actually will start doing a little more. Cause because I, I I really need the steel. I, I I would prefer to mine out the steel. Um because without it I can't do so that's what I was looking at. It doesn't look like it does. So Shota, if I go back here, uh so he's mined twice, right? So if you look at this, he's mined twice, but he still only has a minus three debuff. I think it just resets the countdown timer. And so we can like watch here as he's cutting through this, right? So he's cut through it. So it just recount, it just restarted the timer. And so if I go back and I look at someone else's social of him, so it was minus 10 was, was the mind thought. So it's still there. It's just minus 10. I do think so the trees do stack, I'm pretty sure. Um, because if I go back to the belief of cutting trees, it says cutting trees is 16, but I've seen it go down to like minus 37. Um, and so minus 37 is pretty severe. I, I hate to think what slaughtering an animal does. Um, I just... I, I, I don't want to know. I feel like they would absolutely kill that person. <sighs> of course, he mines the one that we can't get access to. It's good. 
Okay. Let's see what else we want to do here. So I'm going to reinstall this guy here. And... Um, well, that makes me feel better about maybe expanding the, the base through mining. Still need more marble cut. I think we'll be fine. I guess we could get steel doors then, because we've got enough. Yeah. Doesn't stack. At least this one doesn't stack. Why did you cut down a tree, though? I don't remember him cutting down a tree. Hmm. Something's fishy about that. Unless if it was over here for some reason. Or maybe a tree grew in the middle of one of my zones. That, that, that would probably suck. That's probably the reason why. I don't know. I I really don't know. Because if the trees burn, I know for a fact that if you cut down a burned tree, it doesn't cause a debuff. So, for example, I could order them to chop down this tree. It doesn't matter. But if I ask them to chop down this tree, it, it gives me that warning. So, for sure, you could probably burn them, but I don't know because I don't have the ability to do it yet. I definitely, I've definitely thought about it though, especially kind of like when I want to expand the space out a little bit more, like because I can't live in this. I mean, I might be able to. It'd be absolutely a struggle to try to find a way to, to survive in this little of a thing. Um, but like, I need a five by two space in order to make the advanced research bench. So, like, there's not a lot of space for that. I can build a copy of this bed. Just do that really quick. And we've got a machining table, so we'll build that. I, I really don't have much of a plan right now. Um, it's kind of just being whatever it is. I might eventually move a lot of the stuff over here, um, where I've got this roofed area. That way I don't have to cut down the trees, right? Um, and see if, whoa. Uh, see if maybe I can stick people here or production-based stuff here. But it's so close to the map. It's so, it's gonna be really hard to defend. I really want to put it towards the middle, if possible, um, and use some geothermals. I think for right now, though, since everybody's got a, a very low expectations, um, well, actually, no, the, the the leader doesn't. He she's got a little bit more expectation. Um, they've got a higher expectation because they're part of the the, the elite. <laughs> So it's interesting. They when when you become a leader, you get these extra powers. So you can preach health to someone. You can counsel someone um, to cancel the effect of a sad memory. Um, reassure and then convert. So you know, convert obviously is like talking to a prisoner, for example. But you're trying to convert them to your ideology by reducing the target certainty, which is what I'm just reading it off of. But it's based off of the speaker's negotiation ability, and like she has none. Zero. <laughs> she doesn't know how to talk, apparently. Um, 
No, I just chose the most antisocial person to be the person who needs to be social. So, we really do need to kind of work on maybe releasing some of these baby goats to the wild, because they're really starting to populate here. So I guess maybe I could take out this growing zone and make this a building area. Because I don't necessarily think I'm going to need it. Okay, let me think about this for a little bit more. Um, let's expand this zone, get a 3x3 three three right there to kind of build out more of that area. Kind of finish doing those. basically going to put this entire area down here as potatoes. And then avoid those trees. Oh, that's great. Now they're just screwing on camera. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> so then I can probably start building an area around this one. Um, I guess using marble blocks do we have? They're, they're finishing up this. So I could turn this into just all barracks. This could all be beds. And then over here could be actual production in this area. Uh, let's expand this zone too while we're at. Oh, I need to shrink that one. That tree popped up right there. See, that's what happens. The, the trees will pop up literally right next to the growing zone. Now I have to manually remove that. So three by three, we're fine there. Fine here, not fine there. I think that's good. Kind of build out and down. That looks good. Oh man, this is, this is, this is a pain in the ass right here. That should supplant everything over here. So we're building marble. Do we have marble just lying around? Yeah, we do. All right, structure. Marble. Um, let's just go ahead and start zoning off this particular area. Try to keep it as regular as I can. <sighs> Still going around the trees. All right, that's not that bad. That's a pretty decent amount of room. Actually, I could, I could utilize this space if I wanted to. Well, I guess I could just add an extra room down there. That might be okay. So for building a, for a building construction, you don't have as much of an issue. Yeah, you know, I kind of like I like square buildings. <laughs> I'm one of those suckers that's like an engineer. And I just want it to be all organized and regular and perfectly manufactured and stuff. 
Um, but this is this is definitely stretching me out. I mean, obviously, none of this is very organic. I, you know, this is uh, this is very organic. I, I can't, like I said, cut around the trees. Um, so you know, this this is this is a challenge. Like the last time I played a challenge map was actually my previous 1.2 save. And it was, I started out with a single character on on, a, on this modified version of Naked Brutality. Um, it does, on occasion. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it has to be odd symmetry. Um, you can't really do even symmetry. Um, yeah, 3x3 three three and 3x4s. Three I, I typically just try to keep them as odd as possible. Um, but my previous challenge map was more about, like, you know, naked brutality, but modified to where you had no technologies researched. So you were basically starting completely from nothing. Um, and you were by yourself, obviously. Um, and you had no wanderer join, no animals join. Um, and at one point, I, I tried to do a different storyteller, which uh, is like the insectoid queen, where she disables all good events. So you only get neutral and awful events. Um, so that means nothing positive ever happened, and I made it the most extreme um, difficulty, too. So I tried to do that originally, and that wasn't working so well. But, you know, through a mixture of using Prepare Carefully and maybe lowering the difficulty settings, I was able to get through a map on 1.2. That's a different kind of challenge, right? Because a lot of that's just, like, survival in the very first sections. That's, that's really where the, the challenge for that comes from. This is going to be a lot more of a long-term kind of challenge. Because trying to organize and maintain the base structure and fit everything that I need to defend the base and build the base is going to be very difficult. So I think I'm going to create a barn down here. Yes. Did we just lose power? Oh, yes, we did. Because the machining table was built. Oh, that's right, I need more storage and power. Oh, actually, so he's like, it's, it's, um, it's going down a lot faster than I anticipated. So it really isn't like, so they, they seem to, mm, okay. It seemed, they seem to, they definitely don't like it, but it's not like the priority, if I should say, should say something. So, so I, I, you know, that, that, that part makes me feel a little better, um, because, yeah, it is a pain in the butt because they will be somewhat mad. But it's not going to be a long-term effect. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, can we get her skull? Yes! Oh, boy! Okay! Let's get her skull. <laughs> Take her head off! Take her head off! Do it! Oh, sh okay. Oh, boy. This is gonna be gross. Oh, dude. We got a skull. Heck yeah! Now we can build this... Uh, miscellaneous item. It's called a skull spike. And so because of our particular ideologian, um, we get a we can get a mood bonus <laughs> from this. Uh, 
it's right here. It's, it's this one right there. So there's a, um, it, it looks like it's just one to three. Um, but a skull on a spike symbolizes our superiority kind of thing. Um, there's also, let's you know, go through a lot of this other thing. So they allowed slaveries. So like you can actually have slaves um, or prisoners that work for you. It just depends on how you, on how you, how you understand that. Um, and then they got all these other sorts of things. So, you know, they don't like corpses. Um, they don't want to eat fungus. You know, there's only supposed to be, you know, lust within marriage. I, I think it's not, it's not permanent. It's just within sight. So let's look at, let's look at him. Um, so he's got a skull spike. I've seen a few skull spikes recently. I like being reminded of our power. Um, so, is it, how long does it stay, is the question. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's permanent. But I know, I, I guess anybody who passes by this now will just have a perm, will have a mood buff of plus one. Um, that seems nice. Uh, doormat. Oh, we can make a little wolf skin. Oh, we really need that too. Hey, we got more power. Can we do? So we could, if we had the chem fuel, I might be able to make molotovs. But I don't have the ability to do molotovs. I think so. Maybe not on shelves, um, but I, I, I think you need a skull spike object. Um, see if we can find the other person that had us, that died. Can we extract the skull from this one? Yeah, we can. Um, even though I don't think I killed these guys. Let's see what that does. Let's see if we can build more. Build two more. Come on, guys. Thank you. Spacecraft data hack. You have the code that'll force it to land at n know that. To get the information, hack into the drone's computer. Hacking takes time, but those strong and intellectual skill can speed up the process. Mm. Tribes people will spot the drone during its descent. As long as it's present, they'll send attackers approximately every eight hours to destroy it and steal the wealth they think it contains. You will have some time to prepare defenses around it before they arrive. Oh. Oh, actually, I don't know if I want that. Because I can't really prepare defenses. Hmm. The space drone will self-destruct in 30 days. Okay. So I have about 30 days to decide whether or not I actually want that thing to land. Now there's a mad stallion. No one's out and about, right? Okay, that's fine. So now apparently now you have the ability to do subquests. Um, that's 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 what that looked like when I read this. It says subquest of the box of violence. So you can now have main quests that then have subquests, which I find interesting. Can you do this really quickly? Extract the skull. That way we can build more of these things because I want to see if we can get a if we can get up to three. I really don't know if I want more mad animals. I think I want. Um, 
I do I do want I would like more leather but because I, I have like a farm at this point it's not really necessary because muffalo wool is really good um, it's got really good cold insulation and it's decent enough on the heat so because this is a temperate zone I've already had a cold snap um, the only reason why I would want it would be to have the leather okay just just got a just got a baby goat just like um I think I'm gonna release maybe some of these because I don't want to have as many f animals I just need enough to kind of allow myself to stay alive to get the benefits of it all right so there's a second one does that give her two no, it's just one. Um, we need to steal. Let's get our favorite person that everybody loves to hate. Shout a destroy it. So that's it. It's just interesting. It says I've seen a few. You just walked by two. You've also just seen a few. Um, because we can get a plus three boost. This is interesting. <laughs> uh, let's cancel that one. Oh, we need more wood. That's fine. Okay, remove these plans. And I think we're fine with what's going on here. So we have room for one more person. If they join us. Uh, we need to make sure that we have enough marble blocks. That's 5 times 54. That's 250. Like we get 20. Yeah. Oh, we got three of them. No. How do you get? How do you get the plus three benefit? I guess you just have to have like five or ten of them. I don't know. We we got we can now do guns. Um. All right. What do I want? We could do biofuel refinery, because then that would actually give us the ability to do flamethrowers and such. Could run to microelectronics as well. They changed mortars, I think. Yeah, they did. Could also try to drill for oil. Anything here that I care about? <laughs> Let's just keep going down this line. hung with thick overlapping strips of fabric or leather. It allows animals to pass while insulating the temperature. 
as barn doors to give pinned animals a sheltered place to sleep. Okay. Oh. Muffalo wool. Alright, that's good. So we'll do that. I wish I could get more people. Let's make a steel bed. We'll make this for prisoners. I mean, we're prepared for it. Actually, we're gonna make we're gonna rebuild this area. And I'm going to painfully mine out those areas. And then we'll need to do granite blocks. Hopefully we'll be able to just prisoner some of these guys. Prisoners for slaves. Interesting. Oh, set owner. Okay. Go do two. <laughs> they already built it. That's, that's hilarious. It's just a flap sitting by itself. Um. Oh. There's also another thing we can add. It's this straw matting. And then we'll use that for that, yeah. That'll be good. Just didn't know so in here. That's cool. <laughs> and then I guess what we can do is... That, maybe reinstall. That there. It is a very interesting floor. Um, it was this, so that's actually in vanilla now. Um, apparently, it doesn't like to get dirty. So, I don't know what benefit a barn has for not being dirty, but, well, actually, because animals are very filthy to begin with, it can be a problem, I guess. Especially if your colonists have to go in there all the time. Finish that barn off. Um, a defector. They're kind of, they're kind of built. Not bad. Um, true theonomy. I, I want to. Can I like? I could. I don't want to though. <laughs> Not yet. I don't want it to be a, a bad thing happening, um, especially so early on. We have no no backup. Like, Price is the only other guy, and he's a wimp, so NG is the only person that's, like, any good at fighting. Um, let's see what else we do here. Let's just build a copy there. Probably need a second battery to keep our storage up. You. Oh, I think I need to grab more spaces for everyone. Huh. Well, that's cool. Steel. <laughs> And components! Yes! I love it. I don't have to mine crap. For right now. I think it's only going to give me 20 steel. Actually. Just allow the 
those. Disallow that one. Yeah, very convenient. Um, disallow those. Oh, they're cats. And they're Persian cats, too. It's fine. As long as no one leaves, we'll be okay. I do want you to shoot them, though. You need practice. And you also need practice. Get over here. So it also seems like the animals get... It doesn't matter who's being shot at now, the animals all scatter. Which makes more sense. Let's go a little faster. Come on. Someone finish this. Yeah. All right. Ooh. <laughs> what a what a what a raid. <laughs> um Does this count as like discrimination if I shoot these? Okay, I guess not. Wow. Um Yes, they're going to have uh, burkas. <laughs> All right, well, what weapons do they have? Feral pistols, and those guys have an auto pistol. Four shooting, not bad. I kind of want to see if I can capture these guys. Uh, it's not the pyromaniac, not, definitely not one of those. But this one for sure, definitely. I hope so. Let's see what they're gonna do. I'm just gonna sit up there for right now. I hope they come. this way but maybe they'll go this way I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure the psychoid field is over here so we they might come down here and try to burn this which might be fine because I, I I'm not planning on making the drugs yet Let's have Price hang out down there and NGU come there. Shooting, you just be careful. So I should also mention these things call, are called embrasures. Um, they're not part of the vanilla game. I think they should be. But maybe not by that much. Okay. Um... Nice. Did we really cripple you that bad? Holy cow. Go back to what you're doing. Heck yeah. Extract their skulls! <laughs> Wait, is this the one that I want? Yeah, that's the one that I want. Capture that one. Good. Yeah. 
All right, we can now start to convert. Oh, this is going to be fun. Um, and we can get a skull. That's fresh. We got some. We got some better weapons, possibly. Um, yeah, I know it's going to be great. <laughs> I finally have something, somebody that I can use to convert. Um, ooh, Jesus Christ! Here, we'll cancel this one. And let's see. Let's build a small table, and then a stool. All right, prisoner, let us... Hold on. Did they change... They changed the prisoner system, too. Ah, uh, resistance. Okay. Will. Oh, okay. So... So, so one of them is relating to slavery. The other one's relating to joining the faction. Okay. We're just gonna recruit. Or <laughs> we could convert. I don't know what to do. I let's. I mean, yeah, obviously. Let's try to convert. See what convert does first. I would, I, I would like to see what slaves could do, but I don't want. I, w I would like them to be a full functioning member of our colony, because like they do work slower if they're slaves, but they would be able to like do the fields, probably milk the cows, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Man, they are one hundred percent, just absolutely. Overproducing. Um. All right, get the heck out of here. I don't want you. I don't need you anymore. Um. Let's get some more steel. Did we get the skull yet? No, we haven't. A ranger suffering from paralytic abasia and will be unable to walk. Postpone. I could accept. We have the bed. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, she's right there. 37 days. Oh, no. She has a different belief system, too. I want I should have I probably shouldn't have attempted to maybe she just appeared out of nowhere oh well a person's a person <laughs> just be able to sit there the entire time while we try to convert her you must become our religion um, or not really religion. We don't actually have a god that we believe in. Goodbye, goat too. May your dreams be dreams. Or maybe not. Okay, so can I... Can we convert? Oh. Yo! 
Bright was upset by the attempt. Um, needs. Tried to convert me. I wish they'd just leave me alone. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> Wait, what? Uncovered any body part. Okay. Um two and nine two point nine days? Oh boy. for marble blocks? We do. Just no one's building stuff. Hmm. 2.9 days! It's three, a three-day cooldown after you use the convert function. I, so we really need to get her social up is really what that's all about. She's nowhere near. Oh. How do I, how am I going to do that? Jesus Christ. Freaking thing. Get the skull. I want the skull. I have the skull of my enemies. It feels good. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have this. We're just gonna have a hallway of just skulls. That's what I want. I want a hallway of skulls. I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna put her door here. That way, she has to see the skulls on her way, on her way out. All right, life isn't that bad. This is going to be fun. So does that mean probably Price needs to be the social guy? Because he's the one that has the passion and the ability. Starting to get to the point where I think we're going to have a lot of these steel slag chunks that I could use for steel. Ten of those. We're getting, we're getting there. Absolutely making babies. Uh, let's see here. Harvest. And then I'll just disable that zone because we're gonna we're gonna start layering over it. It's gonna be f different. Someone tried to convert me. I wish they'd just leave me alone. It just sounds like that. Oh, look at that. It's working. The dude's just able to do it.
Our buddy Shota, what is he doing? Oh, yeah, that's right, he's busy growing. Two hours already? Good lord. I kind of wanted to see what happens. I really need more steel. Add beauty? Terror. Oh, 25. They actually have terror. Except for, I guess, these guys who absolutely love them. Oh, buddy. Christ the wimp. All right, well, I think this was fun. Um, well, it should be, it definitely is fun. This poor guy, he's just absolutely hating himself. Hating life right now. Intense pain, hideous environment. Jesus. Uh, yeah, so, uh, thank you, McCarthy, for keeping me company. But uh, it's been about two hours, so I'm going to get off and go do something else with my life because... I want to, or maybe just play a different map. I'll just keep this as a stream map or something like that. But this was fun. We got some skull spikes by extracting the skulls of our enemies. That's that's the coolest part, I think. Um, and then we are converting people to our own ideology. The production area is coming along smoothly, if rather slowly. And the only guy who's good at anything uh, cooking-wise keeps food poisoning himself. And uh, is a wimp, so it's just like, Jesus, you know, he's just a freaking awful person. Um, so, you know, like I said, thanks for thanks for showing up, and I will try to do some editing next time on the video for the VOD, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> bye bye.